Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner. Today, first FX air gun review we have ever done here at Pyramid Air, the brand new Impact Compact in 30 caliber. Being that this is our first review of an FX brand product, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of backstory. So we at Pyramid Air have been carrying FX products for about a year now. Um, and the Impact is obviously their flagship kind of top end gun, all the bells and whistles, adjustments and all that stuff and has really uh, changed the air gun industry in many, many ways. Uh, and this is our first time looking at one of the iterations. So the Compact was announced at EWA in 2019, which is a big trade show in Germany. Uh, and it was really one that got a lot of people excited because of its short nature. Uh, the Impact is a bullpup by design, but this is uh, basically a stubby Impact, which is really cool to see. But really now this is in 2020, the Impact Compact is finally here. It's gonna be available in 22, 25, and 30 cal, and we've got the 30 cal here to review today. Before we dive into the long list of features on this FX Impact Compact, go ahead, smash that like button for us, leave a comment down below, let us know what you think of the, today's video and the Impact Compact, and don't forget to subscribe. On the end of the shroud, you'll find a knurled end cap protecting half inch by 20 threads for a moderator. On the right-hand side of the gun, you'll find the fill pressure gauge, and then further back on the gun on the underside, you'll find your reg pressure gauge. We have a 300cc removable carbon fiber bottle that fills up to 250 bar. In the 30 caliber we have here, it comes with a 23 round magazine. We have a match grade adjustable trigger that you can set up however you like. On the underside of the trigger guard, you have a male quick disconnect fitting. Now the Impact comes with its own female fitting, and that's gonna give you just enough collar to go ahead and remove it easily. We do also sell the Sabre Tactical Extended fitting, which gives you about three times more room for that collar, makes it much easier to get on and off. You have a nice rubberized AR style grip. You can replace it with whatever you like, of course. And on the right-hand side, you also have an AR style safety. We have a biathlon style side lever, very easy to operate without moving your hand off the grip. A vertically adjustable rubber butt pad, adjustable via a thumb screw on the right hand side of the gun. In addition to the Picatinny scope rail up top there, you also have a couple Picatinny rails on the sides and then one on the bottom, a very short one as well for bipods and extra accessories. Before we talk about the more unique features of the FX Impact, I did want to touch on this scope. This is the new Element Titan. 34 millimeter tube. This is a beefy scope, all right? Made at a really nice price point. Uh, kind of gives you a, a good higher end experience without truly breaking the bank. Uh, again, like I said, 34 millimeter tube, you're getting great light transmission through that. And this is a five to 25 first focal plane scope. So you got a nice set of reticle options, both in MOA and MRAD designed by Ted Beer and Matt Dubber alike. Uh, and this thing's got all the bells and whistles. You can actually loosen up these turrets and go ahead and reset them to zero. It also has a built-in zero stop, which is metal on metal, which is awesome. So nothing's gonna wear. This is a hard zero stop that is going to last forever, which is fantastic to see. Uh, you also have obviously fully illuminated and your parallax adjustment. This particular one goes down to 15 yards. They have a couple other models that are gonna go down to 10, which is awesome. You got an extended throw lever for the magnification. Really enjoying the use of this scope so far. Talking about the Smooth Twist X system and the barrel liners, for those of you that don't know, one of the great things about all of the FX air guns now is that they have this Smooth Twist X liner system. Basically means you can change out the liners if you wanna shoot pellets, slugs, different kinds of pellets, things like that. Uh, it really gives you a lot of adjustability in terms of your ammo choices and it also gives you the ability to change calibers, which is fantastic. So you can go ahead and pick up a different length or even a different caliber setup for your impact compact or any impact for that matter, and really change the configuration of this gun at will, which is an awesome feature. Next, we're gonna talk about the power adjustments that are available to you on the impact. The first of those adjustments is the valve control setting, and that's controlled through this knob right here. Now, of course, this is gonna become factory preset for the tune of your gun, uh, but you can obviously change it to alter the performance, and you really wanna keep in mind that all of these settings work in unison, so as you change one, it's probably going to require you to change the other two for best performance, so that's really key. Uh, this is the one I wouldn't mess with if you're not gonna to touch anything else, or if you're gonna make small adjustments. 
The second point of adjustment is the amp regulator, and that's actually found within the trigger guard here. Uh, this little brass piece, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it there, uh, but very easy to adjust. You can go up or down. Our reg's set at about 155 bar right now, and you can actually see that on the gauge underneath. Set at about 155, and you'll almost always see a difference between this gauge and your fill gauge here, which is at about 170 bar. So the great thing about this is you can actually diagnose a handful of issues if you think you're having them with your reg. Uh, whether it might be creeping up or down or not refreshing, you know, you can do that all on this gauge right here as you'll actually see it cycle with each shot. And the last of the adjustments is actually really important for fine tuning and that's the hammer spring adjustment. And that's over here, this little wheel right here. You can see ours is set to max, but you can set it at any of those positions in between. Those three adjustments are ultra key uh, in terms of being able to fine tune your performance, whether you change calibers or whether you're just trying to eke out a little bit more accuracy from your existing caliber in your impact. And that all ties into the big feature that we need to talk about, and that is the power plenum. Now, the power plenum is such a huge advancement for the impact and, and marks a uh, really a rolling change for the line came out, I believe, late last year in 2019. Uh, this is about 55 cc's of, of plenum volume that you have at your disposal. Now, for those of you out there that don't know what a plenum is, basically a plenum is your post-regulator air volume. So it is all the air you have available in your firing chamber. Uh, this is what you're going to use to propel your pellet, basically. So having more plenum volume gives you a wider range of adjustability. You're able to, along with some of the valving changes that came with the power plenum, you can reduce your regulator pressure and maintain the same power level with the other adjustments or just because you have more air volume available to you you can increase your regulator pressure uh, and actually get more power than was available in these impact platforms before so this is going to give you a ton of tunability and adjustability and is going to give you the very best efficiency with the other settings involved once you get everything kind of sorted out the way you want. Now the power plenum is particularly significant for the impact compact. Uh, if you guys remember back many years ago when the impact first came out, 30 caliber, 700 millimeter barrel was putting out around 70 foot pounds. This gun does 80 with a 500 millimeter barrel. A lot of that is thanks to that power plenum. It just gives you such a broad range of tunability and adjustability. And once you start combining that with different barrel lengths and calibers, the stuff you can do with this gun, with that power plenum is just unreal. And that's why it is, in my opinion, the most important feature on this gun. Now that we've talked about the features on the Impact Compact and 30 Cal, let's talk about loading this high capacity side shot mag. The side shot mags are awesome. Uh, these things give you a ton of capacity, 23 rounds in this 30 caliber. And you'll notice we have the, kind of this uh, lever on the front here that turns. You simply turn that to open it up into the slot there and you pull the entire face off, makes loading a lot easier. We've got some 44 grain JSBs here just to show you how this loads really quick. You're going to go ahead, take the uh, cassette inside, spin it around and hold it there under tension, cover the back of the hole with your finger, drop that first pellet in, and then the cassette's going to be held in place and you can just drop your pellets in accordingly. But having 23 rounds at your disposal is just incredible. Uh, and this is really from a capacity perspective, class leading. So you pop the cover back on, very easy to do. You rotate that guy back around. We go ahead open our breech up at the back here and you hear it snap in now when you are empty uh, you are going to have to kind of pull this lever back here just kind of give that guy a pull back and then you can slide your mag out very simple to do now that we've loaded up our magazine we are ready to head out to the range and see how this impact compact and 30 caliber performs So 
starting the Impact 30 caliber compact at 45 yards, there's no reason to shoot it any closer, of course. Uh, being an FX Impact, that very high standard of accuracy is absolutely going to be there. We know that going in. Started with the 50 grainers. The STX barrels really aren't made to shoot the 50 grain pellets that well. Uh, 0.9 inches for 10 shots, uh, but you know, again, not really its preferred food. Shooting the FX44 grain pellets, uh, 0.7 inch group, basically one big hole, and just slightly better the JSB44 grainers at 0.68. So very, very comparable groupings here. Again, 10 shots, it's a 23 round mag. I don't think you're gonna get a whole hell of a lot bigger than this, although of course with more shots it will go open up a little bit. <laughs> I was saying to Matt before we extend the range out that we should uh, just for kicks run all 23 shots through the side shot magazine downrange and see what the accuracy turns out to be. And remember, 10 shots at 45 yards, 0.68 inches with the 44 grainers. This is 0.6 inches, 23 shots at 45 yards out of this impact compact. That's sick. All right. We got to find out what this thing will do further out. So stretching the impact compact 30 caliber out to 100 yards, we were actually able to eke out 100 yards in a different part of the building here, uh, better than our 93 yards the last time we extended the range out, so we'll take it. Uh, so at 100 yards with the FX 44 grain pellets, we have a one inch group for nine out of the 10 shots, which is pretty good. Uh, I managed to throw one there because I suck apparently, uh, 1.3 inch total, uh, but the JSB is doing a little bit better right at one inch, actually 1.05 if I'm being exact for you guys, uh, but very, very impressive accuracy. A little bit of a question if we were going to be able to maintain solid accuracy out of this short 500 millimeter barrel. I would say it does a pretty good job. Probably not as good as a 600 or 700 millimeter barrel is going to do, and plus that those longer barrels are going to get your pellet there faster, so that's something to consider, uh, but still able to do very, very well at 100 yards. Putting the Impact Compact and 30 Cal with those 44 grain JSBs over the chronograph, you're looking at about 30 good shots. And that's set up, remember, for kind of a power tune, getting 81 foot pounds with that 44 grain pellet. That's an average speed of about 903 feet per second. As you would expect, the amp reg doing a great job set at about 150 to 155 bar, uh, producing a 15 foot per second extreme spread from 250 bar down to 150 with a standard deviation of 2.8 feet per second. Overall, the numbers look great. About 30 shots power tuned with that 300 cc bottles, what you can expect. And of course, if you're willing to make some concessions on the power, you can absolutely get more shots. Play with the tune, get what you want out of the gun. That's one of the great features of the impact. Wrapping up the Impact Compact in 30, obviously FX does a phenomenal job with these impacts. They are a fantastic gun. Tons of variability, tons of uh, adjustability that you guys can do at home yourself, which is awesome as well. Obviously, right out of the box, this thing is a stunner in the accuracy department, just hole in hole in hole. One inch group basically out at 100 yards out of a short 500 millimeter barrel, pushing 80 foot pounds at the muzzle. This thing is very impressive, and largely that is thanks to that power 
power plenum, uh, about 30 good shots on the regulator set up for that 80 foot pound mark. But the great thing about the impact is a platform. You want to run it at a slightly lower power, get yourself some more shots. You can absolutely set it up that way. It is all right here at your fingertips. If you're a current impact owner, you can uh, get the 500 millimeter barrel kit in 22, 25, 30 cal. Uh, you can go ahead and convert your gun to this compact size, or if you want to buy the compact and go the other way to a 600 or a 700 millimeter gun, you can absolutely do that. 300 cc bottle is going to be an option down the road as well. So this really continues on the impact being a very impressive platform and really an industry leader in terms of innovation. Uh, really glad we got to check this one out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for joining us today. For The Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow us on social media, check us out over on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you at the next one.